All right, welcome. So this week's tutorial comes to us from our new class, how to create abstract art in Affinity Designer. So if you like what you see and you want more of turning actual physical materials into digital assets, check out the link below for a special offer for our YouTube family. Other than that, let's go ahead and roll those credits. All right, folks, Jeremy Hazel here from Seven Season Studios, and today's tutorial is a little bit behind the scenes. Since I'm making some paper textures, which will be available down below, I wanted to show you my process for shooting textures. So what we're making today, we're making a canvas texture. Now, let's start with the lighting. The first thing you wanna make sure when you shoot your textures is you don't want the light coming from the top. You wanna to make sure that the light is coming from the sides because if the light is coming from the top, and you see that I have my camera mounted over the texture, just like this, you're going to get a cast shadow and that will absolutely ruin your texture. So what I've got here, I've got two studio lights. Now, they do not have to be studio lights. You can go down to Home Depot, get yourself a common bulb, just make sure you diffuse them a little bit to make sure that they're not glaring right down on that texture. It's always better to air on the underexposed side than it is the overexposed side, okay? So you'll see that I've got one light here. I've got one light here. And now let's take a look at my overhead rig. Now this is not terribly complicated, right? I've just got a shelf over top of my artistic design space there. This is not my production desk. This is where I go to shoot all the tutorials when we do the hand-drawn stuff. Now, when you use this, I've got the camera pointed down and I've got it cranked down to say the ISO and the exposure down a little bit to make sure that it's a little bit over gray. So that's how I shoot textures. This is kind of how I arrange the paper. And then all I do is I activate the camera, shoot the texture, and we're good to go. All right, we'll see you back on the desktop. All right, welcome back to the desktop. So now we've got our image shot. And if you're following along at home in your downloads for this lesson, I've included the canvas image that I shot. So let's go ahead and open that up in Affinity Designer. Go to File, Open, figure out wherever you hit it, and there is your canvas image. Now it might look a little bit underexposed, that's fine. I always go on the side of underexposure just to make sure that I have detail to work with. But if we zoom in, you can see that we still have a lot of that nice canvas detail in order to make this work. So what we're going to do with this, we're going to use this as a texture. So in order to do this, the gray doesn't do us much good as a texture, right? So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to increase the contrast. Now to do this, let's go ahead with the background, right click, and hit rasterize. Okay, that's an important step there. All right, so we've got this background image. Now let's go ahead, come down to our adjustment layer, and let's go ahead and add a levels adjustment. Now what a levels adjustment does, we can crank up the blacks. Now, you'll see that there was some uneven lighting when I shot this. You'll see how along this edge I'm getting a lot darker than I am around this edge. So we can treat that later and you got a couple different options. You can also crank up the whites and now you see you're getting that good contrast in here. Now you can do one of two things. You can either keep it this contrasty if you want because if you crank it up more you see how we lose a lot of this or if there's a piece of this canvas that you really like say this square right here you can absolutely crop the image so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna leave my levels adjustment there's where my black is there's where my white is close that out and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna crop it now I like this corner, so let's go ahead and crop this image just right about there. Perfect. Now make sure your move tool selected. And now let's go ahead and just crank this bad boy back up. All right, look at that. That thing is sexy. All right, now let's go ahead and push the contrast a little bit further now. With this done, we can come back into our levels adjustment and crank that down a little bit more. And you'll see how we're now getting some what's called chromatic aberration, which is kind of it's starting to get the bluish green because we are pushing that information way too far. So I think that I'm actually pretty good with this. 
All right, once you're good with that, you can then come up to the background, and if you wanted to, you could add a brightness and contrast adjustment to just kick the brightness up just a little bit on here. You can also kick the contrast down if you wanted, or you can kick the contrast up a little. All right, so for my money, for my art, this type of texture is absolutely top notch, right? This would be a texture file I would take in. So what I'd like to do here, let's go ahead, stop this video here. You've got a good texture now to finalize this. Let's go ahead and export. There's the size of that file. JPEG, let's go ahead and kick up the quality a little bit on it because we want a high quality image. That's a big image, that's a big file. And let's go ahead and export it. And let's call this canvas image completed. All right, and hit save. So that's how you can go from a photo to taking it into an actual texture in Affinity Designer as a precursor for a fine art project. All right, we'll see you in the next one.